Today, we're going to talk about judging others. First, I want to talk to all the people, the 145 people that are traveling from around the United States to join us on our spiritual retreat cruise. All of us at Positive Christianity are praying not only for safe travels, but also joyous travel and a joyous cruise. We're going to have a good time. Looking forward to it. B.C. Forbes has said, You have no idea how big the other fellow's troubles are. And so often, that really is important to keep in mind when we are tempted to judge others. Perhaps one of the best things that we can do for another person is to forgive them when they do something that is not right and to let it pass, especially to let it pass out of our consciousness uh, so that we don't hold on to it, hold on to the grudge, hold on to the pain, hold on to the poison inside of us. In Matthew 7, 1 and 2, it says, Do not judge or you will be judged. Well, how does that work? Well, here's the way I believe. I believe that if you hold on to the poison inside of yourself, that you're the one that is poisoned, not the other person. And it goes on. It says, for in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Now, I do not have the concept of God, of a gotcha God, of a punishing God. I have the concept of an all-loving God, much more loving than we could ever be. I have the concept of Jesus Christ, of forgiving, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Endless forgiveness. Well, all of us have fallen short. I have. You have. There have been some times that I have acted miserably looking back on my life. And I'm sorry for those times. But we know that God has forgiven us for those actions. Sometimes we're tired. Sometimes we have difficulties that we're carrying. You know the way that it's been. So, in realizing that about ourselves, we also have to realize that about other people. We have to forgive others when they don't live up to our expectations. But we must go even beyond forgiving. We must refrain from judging them. Judging them often puts them in a compartment like a prison, in our own mind, and then locking the key and leaving that concept in that space forever. It's too easy for all of us to judge others. But God is the supreme judge. And God does not need our help. <laughs> we don't have to form an opinion of another person, and then place that opinion in concrete. God is perfectly capable of judging in a higher way than we could ever judge because God sees all. God knows things that you and I will never know about other people. But God also sees their potential. God is also nudging them and pulling them along to to realize and manifest their potential. To judge others is to invite the poison to remain inside of us. And sometimes not just for the day or the moment, but sometimes for a lifetime. And that is so sad. It literally weakens the bones in an individual to hold that kind of poison. So, let us refrain from judging others today. Instead, 
let us forgive them. And when we cannot see any reason for forgiving them, pray that God will give you the vision, the eyes to see their potential as God does. And then pray for yourself that all the poison is removed. God bless you.